So Unit 70 is finally up. Um, I know it took me forever. I apologize. Really, I do. Um, it seems that people are happy with it. I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm going to be editing the text version of the story. As for the Fleming Unit story judging thing, th uh, those episodes of Undercooked Analysis are not out yet um, because of the division. So in time, those will be out. I'm sorry that this took so many delays. Um, I, that's me, not the rest of the people involved, got too big for my bridges and planned a giant thing. Um, again, like I've said in the past, we have learned from this, and next time we do a giant project, we'll find ways to work it out to where <laughs> we won't have as many delays, uh, we know that the schedule will be clear, etc., etc. Uh, various solutions that we have now that we've done this once, so the next time that we judge something... It will be a lot more time efficient. Truly, I promise that. Unless someone else fucks up. <laughs> this is totally my fuck up. Someone else might fuck up in the future. Um, but that said, uh, everything that I need to address post Unit 70. Um, Burn and Chillicothe are going to be the focus of the next year or so of content that I make. Um, saying that, I, I mean everything within this world that we have developed. So the Fleming storage units and the Chillicothe burn stories are connected. If you haven't heard the original Chillicothe burn stories, I've left a link to the playlist down in the description. Definitely go check that out. So this is the reburn. That is really corny, but I, I'm saying it anyway. Suck a dick. Uh, the, these are all in the same universe, and what's more is we will be developing a burn slash Fleming unit uh, connected wikia where we upload all of these stories and people who are, um, you know, winners are going to be given, um, you know, mod power, admin power, whatever it is, to edit stories and make sensible decisions for the chronology of the Burn series as a whole. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out the playlist down in the description. Not too much else to say other than the fact that the Fleming units are in some way haunted, which is what is giving rise to all of these um, terrible stories related to the Fleming storage units. All of these tragic things, all related in some way. And um, maybe if you know about the Chillicothe Burn series, you'll have an idea as to why that is the case. But for the foreseeable future, two things are on the horizon. One, next month is Soot Soaked Sam, or a story I'm just calling Soot that also relates to the Chillicothe Burn stuff. And then outside of that, um, Journey, the, the month after that, is going to be taking a look into the past. Journey is going to have his own YouTube channel and social media presence and everything. He's going to do live streams where you can ask him questions. Uh, he's going to do gaming events where you can play with him and ask him questions about his life and things along those lines. So all of that in mind... Um, I'm still going to be uploading that stuff on my channel. It's just there's going to be much more Ashcan on his channel. Much more uh, down-to-earth, no music, stuff of that nature. Minor changes like that. The rest of this is just um, me and Chelsea, Chelsea and I, down in Chillicothe. Hashtag Team Alex. Happy boy. <laughs> you can't have any. I can have water. Sunburger, going to Sunburger, and we're pulling in to Sunburger. We're gonna get hit. At Sunburger. We're gonna get hit at Sunburger. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh man, oh boy. Oh man, oh boy. Oh boy, oh man. I'm glad it stopped raining. Hello. <laughs> Hi, can I get a order of bacon cheese fries? A order of onion rings? A iced tea? Do you want sweet or unsweet? Sweet. Sweet, please. And regular or large? Uh, large. Large, please. And then can I also get a coffee? Alright, and that'll be it.
Thank you. There's always had like these weird prints. I don't know what possessed them to get that kind of print, but it's always like it mesmerized me as a kid. Yeah. There, when we, when we paid, the lady asked me if I wanted the lid, and I said, "No, ma'am. I live dangerously." You lid dangerously. I lid dangerously. <laughs> Check out how fucking weird of a structure Sunburger is. <laughs> it's a, it always just amuses me to no end. Bath and 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 bath because we decided to investigate every fucking dollar store in Chillicothe. Yeah, because why not? Uh, and so we found this alpaca. We decided it's an alpaca, even though it says llama. Mm, yeah. And then we have, uh, we're trying to figure this out. Should we name it alpaca the llama or llama the alpaca? Put in your votes now. <laughs> Vote on Twitter, I guess. <laughs> I'm looking for lot lizards. <laughs> Where the lot lizards at? We're we're too far into the city for there to be lot lizards around Chelsea. <laughs> Drat! Industrialization scared them off again. Why do you want lot lizards? Is the real question. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that lot lizards would totally be down to luz out regardless of being gay. No, I wouldn't want to touch them. It's supposed to be a documentary. And you just want to look at them. <laughs> hire them to look, hire them and just look at them. Just, just you know, have them do gesture poses. <laughs> With, uh, I imagine <laughs> lot lizards as actual fucking lizards. I know, just me lizard too. people. I do. <laughs> like, like a secret Freemason lizard people. Yes. Instead of taking over the government, they just took over prostitution rings. <laughs> We've done it. We've infiltrated <laughs> human so society. So society's greatest institution: trucker, <laughs> trucker <laughs> prostitutes. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Jerry's. Hitler. If I ever run for senator, I will have a campaign ad that is an entire minute long. That is a slow, slow zoom in on me in a cornfield, just sitting down. And in the last five seconds, I will look at the camera while eating a piece of corn and say, if elected senator, I will eat all of Ohio's corn. And then there will be a little disclaimer saying paid for by the coalition of corn farmers to elect Brandon Patrick. Vote for me.